<laughs> you don't understand what you've put me through up. the past two weeks. <laughs> you He's got the double complete Canadian. <laughs> And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. And then that's Jordan, that's Pedro, and that's you at home watching us live on Twitch, helping us so form. Hi. Helping us form. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. Look at Cocaine Voltron. <laughs> Shrink more, Pedro. No. Shrink more. <laughs> Eat the That's mushroom. About as low as I could go, my knees are up against the wall. <laughs> More Get wall. on your knees. More Get wall. on your knees. <laughs> Jordan, tell me what's going on in your life as while I fix the shot live. <laughs> well, I, I con- continuing adventures in uh, no heating land. It took until Wednesday to actually get the, furna- the new furnace installed. They had to cut a hole in one of my walls because the, 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 the furnace room was literally built around the furnace after they had installed it the first time. Ooh. Mm, I like I like where this is going. Mm. <laughs> and, and interesting, interesting. Go on. Um, yeah. So uh, I, I also had some adventure adventures in setting up my new work Mac because I wanted to. I want to have this very complicated setup where I could just have this one fucking set of screens and keyboards and switch it, between stuff. Is it analogous to like doing like I've done all this work? Why so I can be lazy? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I, I, I swear to God, front loading all of this effort will be worth it. <laughs> I want to replace this with this. I know those feels, man. I know those feels. Pedro, you got a piece of RAM and you're very proud of it. I bought many pieces of RAM. I went on eBay and I looked for uh, SO DIMMs that work in 1866 uh, mega transfers per second mode and uh, found a bunch of them. This one is the four gigabyte one. Uh, the others were all two gigabytes because the netbooks, uh, this Toshiba one is the only one that supports four gigs. I have to imagine. And like, I, I really have to imagine that somebody's just like winning bets with their significant other. Like, told you someone would buy that. <laughs> Probably. But yeah, no, I learned something very important about um, that AMD Brassos uh, APU that the, the, the Toshiba APU? netbook mm-hmm. has. Yes. Uh, the, um, as it turns out, uh, the internet was saying that, oh no, uh, you can only have up to 1333 or 1066 megahertz RAM or mega transfer, uh, RAM in that netbook, anything above that. And it wouldn't recognize it. Well, that's a damn lie because, um, 1600 that's in there right now. And 1866 both work. But the 1600 at CL11 is significantly faster than the 1866 at CL13. So you have been warned. Okay. <laughs> so so <laughs> there you go. Someone I, will care. How, how, how many years ago did this hardware, hardware stop production, by the way? Uh, 11. 11. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 2010. <laughs> Here's the thing, I, Here's I, the I thing. was at the edge of my seat. You're, you're framing it wrong. You got you to gotta scream. What's up, fam? Retro computing with Pedro and um, <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and retro net L- booking, yeah, and, 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 and instead of uh, lazy game reviews, that's Pedro game reviews PGR. PGR. <laughs> no, it's Pedro better reviews. Mm, that's that's maybe too hipster for us. What 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 about you, Ben? I hear you had some oh, you adventures know, in Colonel Land. Yeah, you know, just regular week for me contributing and to the Linux kernel. I that kind of happened, Ben. Um, it's like vicariously I did. Uh, you might hear me talk about Tack every now and then. He He's the other person on the planet that realizes like, the incredible deals and the coolness that you can get with FireWire interfaces in modern times because people are throwing them away because they don't work with anything. You know, Windows 10, Windows 11, forget it. New Max 64, forget it. Audio technology, does, it moves at a glacial pace. Like The stuff from 10 years ago, the new stuff that they sell blinks more audio quality, all that. It's not a problem. So tack hit me up. Uh, we've been talking back and forth on Twitter now. Cause he's discovered how to, well, I think he's found me on Twitter, but typically we're in the repos and you know, pulling some ID stuff out of a, cause I have a stack of firewire interfaces cause I do interfacing Linux and doing that. So that's technically is going to make its way into the system D whatever thing. He's one of the all set kernel maintainers. So I was like, yay, claim to fame. Uh, so if it breaks, blame Pedro. Um, as, as is tradition. Yeah, pretty much. 
also as well. <laughs> for patrons, if you've ever been curious, I made this just last night when I was walking in, cutting everything on. If you've ever been curious about what goes on, like actually powering this room up from darkness and prisoning it. And uh, yeah, all the fun stuff. I even had to learn how to blur stuff with tracking. I was like, oh, <laughs> can't have that. So, so, so at one point, does the blur witch come and attack you? Tuesdays. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, uh, if you've ever been curious about uh, how this works and is stuck together from this side of the monitor, there it is. I will have that. It's currently up in the announcements tab on Discord, but I'll post it up for patrons in uh, general tomorrow when I get the shows and everything up. But yeah, if you've just been curious, I thought it was there. And in case of my eventual demise, be like, aha, instruction manual. Mm hmm. End of story. Uh, uh, if we yeah, could ever I, figure out exactly which of the very similar looking houses on that street you live in. <laughs> uh, no, there, it's in three very similar, one of three similar looking boxes. Mm -hmm. One, two of which have a bomb in them. So like. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> so, can you put the horse in a box? I mean, theoretically with enough compressed air. And like, I don't, I don't know, some sort of vacuum sealer, you could take all the horse matter and compress it into some sort of Minecraft-esque cube, and you could call it the Steam Lytics Update. Oh my god, there's brand new Steam client update. Really? Oh man, it's it's very it's very oh, exciting. You guys. Yeah. It's so exciting. <laughs> if you're not if you're not on that beta life. <laughs> then uh yeah you uh you get all the stuff that has been uh trickling down through the beta highlights include uh 4k pipewire streaming the let's encrypt in yeah, let's encrypt let's encrypt root cert um issue has been solved <laughs> and uh ceg support in proton so you can play those three games that actually use ceg that people are actually interested in playing um yeah so this is just the beta roundup um yeah, it all it all works now. There were there were some problems for a while with uh, the the uh, pipe wire capture, but I think they've uh, got it to a point where it's semi working. A couple of things are going to be rocking out with this 4K pipe wire capture. That is kind of brilliant in the way that I want to watch that work and melt something. But something that we've been playing around in the beta lately is the CEG DRM through Proton, which is enabling mm -hmm. games that you probably didn't want to play in the first place. One I wanted to play around with was Bioshock Infinite. Duke Nukem Forever, these things. Bioshock a little bit on the crashy side, but I'm glad that it's there. And uh, Pedro, do you have anything to add? I'm not, not really. Again, it's just the uh, the roll up, and I'm glad that they waited until they did because, well, over the past couple of weeks, the beta wasn't doing terribly well, especially if you wanted to use a controller. On Linux. So how, how is how is your experiment using the Steam client entirely with an Xbox controller? It's called uh, getting out of the beta for a week because that after yeah. the, I'm like I'm glad Pedro mentioned it because uh, my first I was like, well, his protons messed up. No, all across the board. It was the Steam beta. Yeah. Uh, Steam input was completely naff uh, to the point where if you enabled uh, Steam input for a specific game. Uh, and you say you were using a DualShock or any of the Xbox uh, copy controllers or even an official uh, Xbox controller, it would just not work the moment you turned on Steam Input because they changed something. Mm -hmm. And with the previous beta, it, was, it came out on the 16th. They finally fixed that. But yeah, for like a week and change before that, it if you turned on Steam Input, forget it your controller's not working anymore Aww. so i'm glad i'm glad that they released the client update after they undid that particular cock up <laughs> well i mean you would think i see i we were talking about this in the pre-pre super shows and i think they genuinely were working on something or in the process of uh because that that's it's something probably you, called gabe gear or something oh no no, no. the new mad it, yes yes uh, they're gonna release a new steam link here I don't. I mean, I mean, like, yeah, it it, lo it looks like they're they're just trying to sort this stuff out before the uh, the Steam Deck release eventually when they have supply at some point. Like, um, they're still they're still trying to fix a bunch of the game streaming bugs on this beta for under uh, Mesa as well, which is probably going to be necessary. What with that uh, Steam Link being or not Link the Deck not being like the most powerful thing, you might want to be streaming some games from your actual computer while you're on the toilet. Mm -hmm. 
Fair enough. Now, speaking of games, we have a very, very interesting clunkiness this week. A story-driven clunker. Platform, Metroid, Vain- man, they hit everything. Jeez, RPG, yeah, the, the, 2.5. Those, uh, those lip injections, man, those were not, <laughs> the those were cheap. <laughs> Thinking about this, man, it's like, in fact, Peter Buckethead has come to town in the form of Clunky Hero. Now, it's early access, though, isn't it? That's, uh, hmm. Yes. All right. I, but it seems to have a decent sense of humor about it. Went back and watched the trailer. It's kind of dark looking, which is good. And, oh, look, Steampunk. How retro. No. What's this thing going to cost? Of- <laughs> it's like a million dollars. It's actually pretty reasonably priced. What, what do they have it here at? Uh, Eleven ninety Canadian. Yeah. All right. And yeah, it, it gives me it gives me a bit of a like a like a sweeted shovel knight vibe a little bit. The art looks really cute. Hopefully it doesn't run like butt though. But the uh, it's pause reviews. <laughs> Broom yeah. night. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's I, I like what night. they're showing. Like what the trailers that they have in the screenshots. It, that all looks very very good. Not you know uh, I'll buy your game and early access good, but uh, I will definitely shoot them an email once it's out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Up next, we got flashback to fucking 1998. <laughs> oh man. Do you do you do you miss the the eras of like when your arm in Counter Strike looked like a piece of wood? Well, uh, rot flesh has you. Um, is yeah, this so a remake the, of something, or is this just old? Are, are we really getting no, hipster three no, hipsters? Uh, this this is this is straight up retro. Um, they, they call they call it out. Um, that gun was the eating things. Screen. I like that. Look at it. Yeah, it, it it's <laughs> coming soon, uh, and it, it it does the it does the uh, what was it the uh, House of Silence Skellboy thing where you can kill enemies and steal their organs and their parts, and you can gain new powers and new abilities, which I guess is kind of neat, but. Oh man, like that that is some straight up N64 arm, man. That's you gotta you gotta go yep. to the doctor, get that. That would be Turok blush. Um Right. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, no, this is like a, a serious Simon Stein's monster, Come and on, uh, I it. like it. How could you dislike <laughs> anything that has organ based stat system? And liter and literal finger guns. That's pretty good. <laughs> And no, it, it looks like the, the the concept is you're basically Frankenstein's monster and you have to kill things. So, okay, let, 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 let's go with that. And you, you know, yes, you know the, it looks it looks rough, but I like it. I, I like the old uh, RPG aesthetic. I very much liked Strafe. Uh, I played the crap out of that one. Uh, so, yeah, no, I, I'm down for some more. You know, you know, there's there's a very persuasive argument for calling the monster actually Frankenstein because Victor was his father, refers to him as father, has, ostensibly has the same last name. Um, anyways, but yeah, no, it's, it's Frankenstein's monster because I know some. It's Adam of, Frankenstein. Uh, <laughs> damn it, that's his name, you Adam Frankenstein. I'll buy the game if they support 3D effects. Uh, maybe, maybe Warp Frontier will. Oh, man, I love it when a game makes good on the promises. Uh, at the beginning of October this year, current year, um, this team said, hey, we'd like you to come test our Linux version. And they delivered Warp Frontier, man. And this is point and click type adventure game. Hunter, what the hell's wrong with that guy's head? Um, <laughs> He's a space baby. Leave his giant head alone. That is that is quite the giant head. And they, he they is made, as God made him. They've made good on their threat. To release a Linux client. I mean, it's currently 1349, so it's 10% off. I mean, if you, the art, this is incredibly well done. This looks like a modern app adaptation. Like, this is what your rose colored glasses come yeah, back, this, like this, King's Quest and stuff like that when you see, like, but, whoa. Or, or, like, or like Beneath a Steel Sky. Yeah, no, they, they, they definitely, it, it's definitely this neat little threading of the needle between like a retro style point and click graphic and like very clearly modern imaging techniques. And I think it works really well for the kind of aesthetic the game is going for. Yep, so it's it's on sale for until Tuesday. You can pick it up for 10% off. But hey, you know, like Ben said, they actually they said they were going to support Linux and lo and behold. It's on Linux. It's native. They did it. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed that it's only 700 megs. I mean, yeah. That, mm-hmm. there, there's nothing is there well there's plenty of things more enjoyable but when you get a retro hipster pixel platformer game and you start downloading and it's like seven gigs really well <laughs> I, you, 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 you gotta think that those backgrounds are probably like straight up bitmap files so scaling that up to uhd is probably not gonna look super good right. <laughs> 
there enough. So did anybody, okay. Backstory, get a little bit of backstory. A uh, couple of months, month. do that again. Back that, up. That, was the, that was, that was the headphone. Camera. Yeah, I know. I, I want, I want mayhem. <laughs> so okay. Valve came out and they said, Hey, we've, uh, did, did the talkie bits with Epic and all that. So if you want to deal with easy anti-cheat, which has been a longstanding problem on Linux, you can now do it. It's up to developer can log into the AC console, click a box and they're done. Somebody took him up on the offer. Yeah, they did. Finally. Oh, man. <laughs> Which is, you know, it's good to test these things early in development. And Star Citizen has only been in production for, after a quick Google search, 10 years. So, yeah, no, it, 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 I'd say it's a good time, but I'm genuinely glad, uh, glad that do, at do least think- someone's doing it. <laughs> do you think we're going to be living in space by the time Star Citizen actually releases? It's never going to release. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah with version 315.1, we're going to, uh, they're going to be adding EAC to Star Star Citizen, and they very much want people to test it with Wine and Proton, the XVK, that type of situation specifically. They actually call that out. So, yeah, uh, go test it if you have it uh if you're one of the backers i'm sorry uh but yeah might as well you know be the guinea pig they, let they, us know how it goes they do say in the known issue though that shit is pretty borked so they are actively soliciting feedback yes. <laughs> probably helpful to give them some dumps or some logs or something if you're going to be uh if you're going to be sending them any sort of feedback regarding that but you know what? Hopefully the our Robert Space Industry folks tell a better love story than Elite Dangerous and actually their game is playable under Linux. I don't in know. Some way, I mean, form. you know, at least somebody is publicly giving it a try and say, hey, let's go set this on fire because that's how you're going to fix something. And uh, I say good on them. Oh. Good on what? Oh, man. If, if you say, oh, man, Star Citizen got it done before you. Is that going to is that going to spur some people into action? <laughs> uh, throw in some shade, man. Yeah. <laughs> throw, throw in some shade and be like. Oh, Th- that will be a shit comparison if anyone makes it to a larger right? project yeah. and coming in like they managed to pull that off. But and it it's still got a lot of traction behind it. Um, if you have, I, I was reading through the entire announcement and I saw some people were having issues and were very upset that you will get the ban hammer if you have more than one pointing device plugged into the system. Yeah. Now, this is universal. This is not like a Linux yeah, apparently it's an ant sheet thing because a lot of what the aim botters do is in software, they'll inject a secondary cursor to uh, nudge you in the right direction. So they're looking for that behavior and they're like, ah, you fucking dirty cheaters, get out of here. Not according to the people that were very upset in the forums that they were trying to do the mental gymnastics of why they absolutely needed the second input device in order to play the um, game. Listen. The X window system supports multiple cursors natively. I just want to use the functionality of my computer. Damn it. That's why I run Linux. It's one of the best features of Linux plugging into troubles. Go, this the only is, thing oh, I can see it being an issue. <laughs> the only thing I can see it being an issue is if you have one of those dual thrusters, uh, dual stick uh, configurations, which is that a sex for toy? driving a spaceship. Uh, no, but it is an actual input. The Saturn had one for virtual on. Uh, if you have one of those and you have each of the joysticks set as its own input device, that would trigger it. So what if I got my standard input, but I have my Thrustmaster plugged into the game port on my Sound Blaster PCI card? Ah, uh, because you're using devices. a trackball mouse. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? So a game that I, I think we all like because it is just dark. It, de- and it, de- it, it destroyed our brains. Yes. Yes, it, it was the first four chair game that didn't involve any ponies that we've seen this. This far. is like one of those things that you know the, the game just thoroughly kicked my ass to the point, and I didn't even know what layers of nonsense and bullshit were capable until I was watching you and Sandy stream it. I'm like, yep. what is no? Ah, uh, wow. All right. Well, it's going to get more entertaining. Uh, we've talked about this, but it's here. It's finally here. There's an official level editor for Baba is you. Baba is pain and uh, Baba make level. Now, there's been a bunch of hot fixes after this release because apparently it might have affected some issues of uh, being able to uh, finish some levels, which I don't know how that's possible. Like, how could you tell? And um, right, right. <laughs> right. Like uh, c- c- coming with this is, is, is a bunch of levels, including a bunch of rejected Baba levels with developer commentary. And I got to know, like, what is their criteria <laughs> for excluding a level? No, this is too obvious. You can't. 
It needs to, it needs to be more fucky, more fucky. You have to just go through and just see some of the nonsense people have like, cause you know, there's, there's always the fun thing of like, Oh, somebody's made this out of, you know, Minecraft is a good example of that. Right. <laughs> So someone made Doom in Baba. That's fucked up. Did you see this? <laughs> Did you see this? What? What? This is a machine <laughs> running on Baba. This is yeah. This yep. is like some fucking von Neumann machine. Some fucking state device. What the shit, man? I, man. Get wrecked, whoever you are that did that. <laughs> it's 150 new pre-baked levels along with the editor to make your own. So yeah, and uh, Baba is infinite. Yeah, d- definitely, definitely. This this is this is something to just like put on your Steam Deck and keep it there cuz yeah. 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 It, it's that game that you okay, I have a few minutes to cook my brain. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no, not 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 even that. Think think about like games that'll stretch out your battery life. You could fucking play this shit forever. Yep. And you probably will <laughs> you get could lower the frame the- rate to like Why? 12 Would and it'd ever- still be perfectly no. playable. See, I can I, I I'm an adult. I can admit it's smarter than me. I don't want to stab myself in the ankle. Rip it. It's no. Uh-uh. <laughs> Baba, you win. Now have your money. We'll, we'll call it a truce. So, earlier this week, I noticed there was some DLC out for a game that uh, we, we all played. And Pedro was like, wait a minute. something Something's weird here. Yeah, Gonna no, it's because it, this is uh, Kung Fury. Uh, the Street Rage game that was basically like uh, one figure death punch from... Um, with the heavy CRT filters and inspired by the movie, Kung Fury, obviously. And I was like, okay, I have it in my library and I have seven minutes played, so all right. But it was Windows only. And I, and I was thinking, it's like, was this all, always a Windows only affair? Am I experiencing the Mandela effect? No, apparently not. Uh, the uh, Up until five days ago at the time of recording, uh, it had a Linux Depot. And then they took it down. And Ven's going to tell you exactly why they did that. But yes, the new version, 134, uh, actually brings some new stuff. It has some uh, free DLC, which is the story campaign with just Kung Fury himself. And then you have the new one with the Hoff, where you can play as the Hoff and enjoy the new uh, story mode, which is a little bit more involved than the previous one. So... Very good. I very much look forward to actually trying it. It I mean, is uh, five made, pounds. Exactly, 19. They made a game out of it. It was just like a one punch man. Like yes. left, right, left, right. Okay. Check this out though. <laughs> We're watching it on a live stream. They, they fucked up a little bit because uh, even, <laughs> even the windows version, if you go back and try to play the original, mm-hmm. which is included, you get the DLC. They, they forgot to enable left in a game that only has left and right control. Mm. Yes. Oopsie doodle. <laughs> There's a lot of other things like resolution options don't exist. And um, that's kind of a problem since Unity now You can't turn the, off uh, the CRT you, filter oh, either. Hell which no. is annoying. They, they, you would see how shot-tastic. But hey, man, you can play as Triceracop. That's or, pretty badass. Yeah. Hacker Man. And of course, and of course, the reason I picked it up and streamed a bit last night, the DLC brings the Hoff. But can you eat cheeseburgers <laughs> off the floor? You know what? In my live stream, you could, because I had the Hoff uh, gif eating some cheeseburgers when I was talking. Uh, so you, you have to bring your own cheeseburger. Got it. Pretty okay. much, man. So this is the day at the beach. That was the reason for the update. Now, I went through the forums kind of looking around, because, again, again, this was like a little novel, the original release of this, was just a little fuck around game, right? It's like, oh, that's cute. Look, it's got the people from the movie. Thing. All right. Now, you never fuck around with it again. Seven minutes. You're in and out. But. Yeah, it had a Linux version. It had to, and then, yes, it was a. It was never officially released. It was a beta that you could log in and do the thing and play it. And they forgot about it. Apparently, whoever ended up making this version in the forums, because somebody said, "Hey, could you please remove the Linux depot?" Because they were having problems getting the Proton set up and working with fighting that. And they're like, "We have a Linux depot." <laughs> <laughs> so that guy left the project. I see. 
Yeah, no, the volunteer kind of, you know, stopped volunteering. <laughs> I don't know. This is the most basic bitch half done Unity title. So, I mean, you, you, uh, you get, you get spoilers. It is one finger death punch, but with Kung, uh, Kung Fury skin on it, and you can't disable the it, CRT it is, filter. Here's the update, though. <laughs> I mean, with A Day at the Beach, if you bothered to get the DLC, you do get multiplayer. You do get a Mario leveling system. And again, you can play as Triceracop and the Hoth. Four cheers. You could already play as Tricera Cup on the original. <laughs> you just had to unlock him. But first. now you can play as Tricera Huff. <laughs> it's like a Triceratops, but each horn and, is game that has. And more off. importantly, it's an actual game. <laughs> you can yes. punch it. It has an actual game mode. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, coming up next. Oh my God, NVIDIA is open sourcing stuff. What kind of fucking mirror mirror Spock universe have we Shut up, you wandered AMD into? Shell. Never. I think it's about time we took a bit of a break from uh, the news of the week to thank you. And I, I would personally have like to thank with, like, you. Canadian stereo. Nah, see. <laughs> Pedro, well, I, I mean, Pedro, you don't Portugal understand. Portugal Portugal is, back one of these days. You don't understand what you've put me through the past two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> You he's had to double listen to complete Canadian. He's had to listen to so many rants about He Man. At this point, he's like, Sup, stud, what's going on? If you want to ask us what's going on, you can head on over to Patreon.com. It was horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Become a Patreon. You get cool stuff like access to our Discord channel. Uh, the You get access to the um, pre pre super shows and that extra hat. Not half hour, hour of Linux gaming content where well, we give our listen to it at seven X speed. Seven X speed, yeah, you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> if, if 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 you want to hear Al Ven and the Chipmunks, go ahead. You can you can absolutely do that. Um, yeah. So uh, pay, that's uh, like one of those things you play it backwards. To- Al shows up, and you're like, Who the fuck is-? no, it, 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 it's it's just Chicago. Hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, speaking of, speaking of Chicago, that's one of the tiers on Patreon. Chicago kicks ass if you give us six dollars sixty six bucks an episode. But yeah, a um, little bit lower than that, you get access to the show notes. You can watch us make the show uh, in textual form, issue corrections, suggestions, just make random comments in our Google Doc. It's it's fun. Um, yeah, pre pre super shows and what else? What else we got? You have you had a, a video that you uh, posted on the announcements in Discord, didn't you, Ben? I did uh, creeping around room. in the little studio, my sacrificial room. I'm like, hey, how do you cut all this on? It is there because I know some people are just like, hey, how does the Linux studio get cut on? And it's not terribly exciting, but I did my best to cut everything on with one hand. Hopefully, you'll like it. But a couple other things we get bonus shows like. Jordan was saying that pre-pre super shows, and that's pretty dope. If you're wondering about our opinions on multiple new shows that came out this week, up to and including uh, The Wheel of Time, that's where you get that nonsense. But no Star Trek takes, though. Not this not, week. Not this week. None this week. Stay tuned next week. Uh, if you like this, what we're doing right now, a lot of people like to show up for the just live experience, sit back, listen to it, whatever's going on. But if you can't make it and that's not your thing, you want it in podcast format, we can give you that four hour rock block. Just like that, video versions available as well as a as thank you, man. You can kick us a buck a week. That means a lot to us. Yep. And we get to keep doing this fun, fantastic things. And uh, do we get any other like super awesome rewards? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, if you're if you're a page, if you're a Discord, uh, not Discord. God yes, God. I'm Twitch a Discord. Subscriber. Shut up, I'm a Discord. If you, I don't understand if, uh, if your you are, speak. I'm a Discord. <laughs> you are. You run D date constantly. <laughs> I know if, if you're if you're a Twitch sub, you can get access to Discord as well. That's also pretty cool. Uh, L, if you give us enough money, you can buy your way onto the show. We have a store as well to cover your filthy, shameful body and our filthy, shameful bodies. Well, they fit a Discord. Uh, we got, yeah. Well, I mean, you can get it from Listen, Discord. Man, if you I got a dress for my new life. You got a living <laughs> exclusively on Discord. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you, you, you can uh, cover up your shame life. with stickers. <laughs> drink, drink your salty tears out of your Linux game cast Hell Elks mug. Um, we got face masks. We got use me T-shirts. Good stuff. We got wish zones on uh, Amazon. If you head on over to LinuxGameCast.com, put your mouse over the support button. Go down to wish list. Jill has one. Pedro has one. I have one. Ben has one. Buy us some stuff off there. You can send us a little note that we got to read on air. Send Ben really? something. And you he want will... one of these? Yeah, for... Yeah. <laughs> Laptop style. <laughs> why, do, why don't you get, like, the one with, like, the uh, arm and the 
See, all right, there's the battle axe. I would expect that. Oh, it's rubber? <laughs> Boom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just creeping on your list. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> look, look, look. Buy, buy me some controllers. Buy me a Ryzen motherboard or some memory or an NVMe drive. Or... <laughs> Or for a stream deck. A 5700 yeah. GAB. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. I got one of them on mine too. <laughs> yeah. What is this? A yes for all wooden plyo box? The different. Yeah. It's a box? It's a hundred dollar yeah. box? Yeah. Does it it's do a hundred dollar box, that, box? Uh I can jump on it and it won't collapse under my weight. That's the main thing. That takes all the fuck mothering fun out of it. No one. <laughs> Indeed. Nay. I will mute you if you read anything from that purchase. <laughs> Uh, thanks everybody uh you let us do this and it's been a very fun interesting ride even if you're not like a huge trip one thing we've done and it's completely by accident is document linux gaming take two we've been doing this longer than steam has been available for linux and uh it's, it's been an interesting ride oh i ha- i had a quip that i completely forgot oh no uh the only headphones we're gonna try and sell you is a 30 old pair of Sony headphones from the eighties. Yes. No, no rake on ads. Fact. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Yeah. Uh, we dog food it except for Pedro. Pedro's got AKGs are even older. D- yeah. The AKG, yep. uh, two forty, yeah, but these are the Mark twos. These are the Samsung ones. Apparently they're not as good. I wouldn't know. Yeah. They sound pretty good oh, to the, me. The, the, yeah. So those, those are the only <laughs> headphones we're trying to sell you. No, no, no sponsorship deals. Rain. Okay. Uh, everybody's favorite GPU company, uh, much beloved, uh, run entirely by a sentient leather jacket. NVIDIA has got some yeah. open source stuff for us after they uh, remind Pedro of this awesome <laughs> groundbreaking technology called DLSS. Yes, that I uh, cannot enjoy at this moment. For yes, you I can. You can watch me enjoy it. <laughs> yes, I. Uh, you can watch Ven enjoy it uh, on Twitch as well. He's but yes, standing is, outside uh, the window in the rain, just oh, like yeah. staring through Ven's window. <laughs> he's holding he's, like fucking DLS. That doesn't bother me as much as he's got the boombox, and I'm like, wrong reference, bro. It doesn't change. Yeah. Always with yeah, the boombox. It, it, it's blasting Toto too, which is completely wrong. But hey, it's Toto. <laughs> But yeah, the new DLSS version 2.3, it's out. Uh, and you, if you have Cyberpunk 2077, you can uh, go and have a look. Uh, the uh, I think Doom Eternal also has it as well. And it is, well, it's a thing. If you have an RTX-capable card, even if it only has the one core or two, uh, you can give DLSS a try. But if you don't have any of that, and maybe you'd like something a bit more open, something to comp- uh, compete with... Um, uh, AMD's FSR, well, NVIDIA's working on that too. They have an image scaling SDK, which is currently available. It's on GitHub, uh, version 1.0. And what it does is it upscales. It does, as they describe it, a six-tap scaling filter combined with four-directional scaling. So that's, uh, you know, the the two uh, X uh, and Y um things and uh then it does adaptive sharpening not entirely sure if it is contrast adaptive sharpening like fsr is but it probably is something very similar to do the image sharpening after the fact so yeah i'll give it about two weeks until glorious egg roll gets this going on Rodunji. <laughs> And I very much look forward to the uh, Gabe Gear, which uses an AMD GP, uh, APU, and uh, have people just use uh, NVIDIA FSR on it, effectively. So I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I, I've been having a fun time, and this... Uh, <laughs> I never thought I'd be playing, like, ever take advantage of any of the hardware that was uh, used for DLSS on Linux when I got this uh, 2060, like in 2019. And here we are. We we had 16 titles that currently support 2.3. Uh, Hellblade is laughably bad. It is. Uh, <laughs> even with the quality DLSS. It, uh, your protagonist, she looks like she's got a vibro shield around her like, when you turn around. And like, that, that's not a good experience. It attracts the worms. Uh, I did try um, Cyberpunk. Thank you, Foxy, for doing that. That thing just runs like shit. Uh, I mean, that's, that's just Cyberpunk, though. <laughs> yeah. That's... I, I, that's the cyberpunk experience <laughs> maybe that, that's like my one day game one day i'll have a system power you know that that is the uh, listen, new crisis listen, 
when you have to fully simulate Keanu Reeves from a DNA base, right. it, it takes a little <laughs> bit of uh, CPU horsepower to do that, right? But hey, I, I'm sure the internet will find a new way to hate on NVIDIA for making the image scaling SDK open source. Guaranteed. I can think of a good reason to hate on NVIDIA for having shitty OpenGL performance now. Oh, man. Come on. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone else is working on it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this this is from uh, Mike Blumenkrantz's blog, Super Good Code. You, If you don't know who Mike uh, Blumenkrantz is, he is an individual who Valve gave a shit ton of money to and said, figure some shit out. And so um, he's been working on allegedly uh, he's, 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 he's been working on zinc which is the um OpenGL implementation via by way of vulcan similarly to uh, dxvk d9vk etc and uh the you know we, we've been hearing a lot about like oh hey well you know we, we've we've got triangles working we have rendering working we can get into games now and we we get we get this fucking clickbait and i love it it's like what if zinc was actually the fastest gl driver um and numbers don't so, lie yeah, so uh, it took a, quite a bit of work. Apparently, um, NVIDIA Vulcan is a bit of a pain in the ass to work with. But with the 495.44 beta driver, Mike has gotten Shadow of the Tomb Raider <laughs> to run better under OpenGL by Vulcan than well, NVIDIA's I actual mean, OpenGL on. driver. Don't undersell it. Okay, with the NVIDIA's GL 495.44, check this out. Minimum frames per second, 92.5. Barely even counts as playable. However, with the NVIDIA's Vulcan driver, a solid 93.1. See, if I, I, we we could do some uh, Intel math in that part would be way the fuck going there. <laughs> yeah, that, that, is, that, is, that is incredibly impress- impressive. And, you know, and, you know Mike, Mike, Mike is saying that this is not necessarily indicative of um, Zinc's performance overall. This is one specific use case that he had been working on specifically. Oh, 100%. This is good to have in place, though. Because yeah. open jail is yeah. not going to be around forever, despite what the medical industry believes. Yeah, I, I mean, like Inv- Nvidia has no reason to ditch it for now, but who knows? So, uh, and and like es- especially on newer hardware, when they're like, "Well, what the? F- why do we need to support OpenGL? Right? Like mm-hmm. everyone's using DirectX 12, the next generation graphics API that will power the universe." Um, but yeah, so ha- having something like this, very very necessary. Un- Unless Nouveau successfully petitions Satan for any amount of OpenGL performance, this oh, might be the only way to... Uh... <laughs> I forgot to bring this up with Hellblade. Uh, it also had ray tracing, because we're talking about mm. DX12, which I enabled for the DLSS. That clearly doesn't work because the game was playable with it enabled. So, I think that's broken. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah no, so- spreading the inherent single-threadedness of OpenGL does spell a very good future for those older games, and you can just zinc uh percentage command percentage in a not too distant future on steam and those old games just like those old direct x9 games uh that run so much better with d9vk or just dxvk nowadays oh, so pump, yeah. pump the brakes on that because <laughs> uh yeah um because because of uh, mike's next blog post well you yes. know what <laughs> you know you're in for a tr- just a treat when you see something like GPU goes burr? In fact, it does. <laughs> Here's your regular, normal, ordinary GL performance from a simple Portal 2 benchmark. There, there's things n- around 400 there's, there's, FIPS. Now, there's a number, yep. let's talk around this Gallium 9 moon technology. <laughs> 600 <laughs> frames per second. You're looking at a 50% improvement with the exact same back-end GPU driver. Isn't too bad. For just a shim. And... Oh, oh, shots fired. No, this was now we isn't this this is definitely kind of moved. This used to require a special build of Mesa and all this other stuff to play around. This is basically just a wrapper that's gonna work with any type of DXVK title. Yeah, it's a library it's a library you uh, drop into LD preload and then yeah, if if it's if you're so running then, NVIDIA, then you're gonna run into a problem. But yeah. out of the box drop in, especially, but we need to talk about the power consumption, Jordan. Because this is I think yes. this, this is the real like oh wait a minute. Yeah, this is the, this is the juju for sure. You want to take a shot at Yeah, yeah, sure. So, uh, using a handy dandy power top, um, using so uh, I, I guess we got to roll this back a little bit because the people might not know what Gallium Nine is. Gallium Nine was a way for Mesa to actively natively use the DirectX Nine state tracker present in a lot of uh, video cards. So theoretically, you could submit DirectX Nine commands directly to the GPU, and it would work 
normally as you would without any sort of translation layer. Um, this comes right off the heels after Strider removed Gallium 9 support from Lutra <laughs> saying that it's dead. It's a dead end technology. No use for it whatsoever. Um, it's but yes. Yeah. But yeah, um, so currently, currently, this is uh, so just to finish up the that. Um, currently, this is only available for source games using DXVK because this is a DXVK override. But onto the power savings, because yeah, they are um, they are pretty substantial. Um, this graph is very hard to read. Um, what are you but talking it, about, Pezen? It's it <laughs> 70, yeah. 60, 5, yeah. 60, 57, 65, yeah. Mon- 61, mon- Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday, you, Friday, Sunday. An average Windows user, you can't read that nonsense? Uh, yeah, so, yeah, but uh, effectively, so the, the XVK uses twice the VRAM and uh, five times more uh, power, effectively. <laughs> yes. So, so yeah, um... You know, you know, we've we've been we've been singing a lot of the praises, deservedly so, of DXVK, D9VK. But it is not the only way. Um, and Mike is showing that, hey, um, lo, lo and behold, now we have two ways of actually drastically improving performance and power consumption for old DirectX 9 games. And with the large number of legacy titles that the Steam Deck has to support, mm-hmm. uh, and having the fairly substantial power savings, this might be something that Valve wants to investigate. Now, uh, oh, yeah. something we'd want, like in conclusion, right here at the end, uh, and this is kind of important. Dude wants data, lots of data. Post it here, email it to me, carrier pigeon, whatever. Get out there and test this. And like everything else, the link to this will be in the show notes because if you got some of that AMD hotness, or uh, I'm guessing this will work with Intel? Question mark? Question mark? Uh, I, I, question mark. Question yeah, mark? We, we, qu- qu- big, big, big old question mark. That's the thing. Gallium, uh, it only works with Jeez, some Intel, of the I would totally iris. be able to answer that in a marketing-free type of way if you just send me one of those e-cards. <laughs> yeah. yeah, currently only some of the Iris cards use the Gallium driver. Most of them use uh, Intel's 915. I-9, yeah, I-95, yeah. whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> okay. One of them. Uh, now, now I have questions. Um any screen caps have said accidentally at a Ah, tags. there's a Josh you mentioned right there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> curiosity. Piece. Well done, sir. Well done. I look forward to seeing what 2022 holds. But he's progress. Well, uh, what 2022 might not hold is a Switch, because those are still yeah, effectively well, unicorns. They just got bigger so screens. I mean, give us more well, money. I'm sorry. I'm not they're they're the confused. same size. They just look a bit better. Mm. I I suppose. They got more salmon sperm. <laughs> yes. Uh, but yeah, no, the uh, chances are if you want to play some actual Switch games, you're probably better off with Yuzu. Well, maybe not. The uh, It is still not early, early days, but it is still very much a work in progress. And they have a progress report for October. And this one uh, starts off with a PSA for um, NVIDIA users. If you have one of the 490 drivers already installed... Uh, caution seriously caveat emptor on that one because uh, roll roll it back to 472 yeah yeah the 470 drivers are kind of where you want to be because with the 490s they dropped kepler as we uh discovered on uh wednesday uh and the um uh the some of the old glsl extensions which are were very much in use uh for um yuzu are no longer supported so until nvidia actually goes back and adds those uh, GLSL extensions because, hey, the new cards probably can still use them. Just saying. I don't see the problem uh, here. I can just go buy a 10 gig GPU. <laughs> it's pretty easy. <laughs> well, well yeah. I, so, I mean, so the, in the, my the, defense, the, if I'm prepared to light money on fire, I can. Right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you're, that comes from the second the bit for Project life. Art, which is the new rescaling technology, uh, which is, uh, it, it makes games look better as emulators are off to do <laughs> yeah um they, they have so, they have some recommendations they have uh support for downscaling and upscaling because um y- y- you know people ha- don't necessarily have the best computers then they want to run games um so with uh with this new art uh scaling system there's come some uh, hardware requirements um like uh like uh ven was alluding to um if you're if you want uh, if you want to have the full uh four times resolution scaling uh 
You're gonna need you're gonna need a 1080 Ti or better because you're gonna need mm-hmm. some uh, 10 gigs of VRAM to get that working. Um, they have other they have, their, have other sharpening methods as well. Um, they've implemented FSR. They do recommend I mean, that, that if that's you're sharp, but it also looks bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, it is a low resolution game to be. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, they're 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 saying like, yeah, we're 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 well, well I mean, it's showing uh, off bilinear versus, versus Gaussian, Gaussian yeah. Yeah, like um, this you can the, even. This is yeah. Salesforce or Scaleforce. Yeah. For uh, for SFR or FSR, they recommend uh, if you're using a lower resolution and want to upscale it, uh, that helps for clearing up the fuzzies. Does not really help if you're uh, rendering at a higher resolution downscaling. Um, so yeah, I mean, one X Parga- linear looks better than the uh, not point seven five. Mm-hmm. FSR on this subjective, I'm sure somebody's like, no, I like the jaggy things. <laughs> I, I yeah I I, I I I don't know what the hardware a hardware b thing is so yeah like i'm just moving shit left and right and i don't know what i'm yeah. doing <laughs> Sli- sliders man we implement that technology on next game cast fuck yeah we do you can't get enough of it. people love look at me i'm just in here like my, yeah. <laughs> no no no, yeah, no no amount that, of fsr uh, is gonna make filtering Pokemon. yeah you can see <laughs> yeah, that, that one that one is painfully obvious well, uh, so it it doesn't also help that Pokemon Sword has really really bad graphics. All the background assets are like PS one quality. So, <laughs> hmm. uh, I don't know. I mean, theft. I I know it is definitely a shame that the Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo Switch upgrade, the update, the new Nintendo Switch has been delayed by two months. But uh, mm-hmm. do do you honestly <laughs> think that? If the Gabe Gear runs well enough and it's everything that's been promised and Yuzu runs like a dream on it, which you know that's going to be a target platform, mm. there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be getting into Linux gaming because that's where they want to play their Switch games now because... Uh, you, 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 can, you can actually play them on good hardware this time around. play Switch games at 60 FPS on your Gabe Gear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At, at yeah, non seven twenty p resolutions, mm-hmm. or or oh heaven heaven forbid over ten eighty p thirty possibly mm-hmm. mm. cinematic. <laughs> let's talk, let's talk about theft. Oh man, uh, everyone's favorite topic is yeah, Rockstar this week. Rockstar didn't have a good week, mm-hmm. not at all, no. not, even, not even a little bit. Did you did did we all read the uh, sorry not sorry that they dropped? Yeah, we are sorry dot jpeg. <laughs> Yeah, oh. white, white text on a black background. Oh man, they're like, hey, please, please yeah, understand. You know that dog shit. You know, after we pulled GTA, GTA three, and all that off the market and replaced him with this whatever these the things inferior are version, play, yeah. broken versions. Yeah, <laughs> but you, you people were upset with us, and we, we're sorry. Also, they even drug out the uh, uh, our development team has experienced harassment online. Please don't. It's like, well, you're it's, being to us it, it's, oh, oh man probably may, hits may, may, less hard than them having to deal with the harassment they have from fucking work may, right? may, may, maybe mm-hmm. if maybe if they diverted some of the funding from their legal team to their software developers they mm-hmm. could have actually yep. re- produced a functional uh, game i told you i told you legal was justifying their expense and this is how they've been doing it they've been siphoning off all the funds so they can go after the real pirates the modders for gta Sorry, this, three. This, this is not <laughs> this is not a repeat but it's back uh gta modders to court our game fixes and enhancements are fair use, not piracy. And uh, this is over at torrentfreak.com. Now, so this, this is the uh, this is a slapback from uh, RE. Uh, not the first uh, time, RE3. the second time that they yep, were issued yep. a takedown request in GitHub, you know, following along, they're going to do this thing. So GTA 3 Vice City projects, uh, they were protected, hopefully, under the Fair Use Copyright Act. Uh they kind of disagree, but they even point out in the suit because they're going to take this shit to court, which is kind of what we wanted to see. They said, hey, man, you still got to buy the damn game in order in order to use this. Like in any of the reverse engineering we did it was to enhance that part of the game to fix some things, make it a little bit better. And they get a really good point. Like, uh, again, why, why are you trying to implement the well, apply the United States Copyright Act outside of the United States? How the fuck's that supposed to work? Again, question mark. Uh, this, this is going to be kind of interesting. There's a full PDF and all the fun stuff to go through it. This needs to be brought to court. I'm glad that I hope the EFF or somebody helps f- 
finance this and keeps Seriously. it in court and gets this uh, just completely fucking dismissed with prejudice because this is bullshit. This is bullshit yeah, by takes, the same company that needs to brought be you <laughs> the remakes of GTA and everything else. And they're backtracking. Yeah. These are some arrogant motherfuckers, man. And the, the, the article brings up that this is highly hypocritical of uh, Take Two and Rockstar as well, because they have previously uh, featured a lot of third party modifications to Grand Theft Auto, mm-hmm. um, even using it in internal presentations. Um, yeah. You, you just got to fucking litigate instead of innovate, man. Uh, how, how else are we going to get people to buy you know our what? broken ass game? Like I would even roll back and be like, they were aware how dog shit the remake was because they were made it a point to take down the superior product. Yeah. Yeah. They they took out the old versions that actually worked. They took out the superior product that the community had done with none of their code, none of their anything. It's all reverse engineered and meant to improve on their product. Dicks. Ginormous fucking dicks. (laughs) And the the, the article also goes on to say like, Rockstar was aware of REVC and RE3 before they started working on the remakes. These were things that were existing and servicing a community before they decided to create a competing product. So again, giving more fuel to the, we're not creating a replacement for your thing. We are right. creating an enhancement for your existing broken thing. Mm-hmm. You know what? I, I just want fix. this to come back and get a judgment of this. I want a very good chilling effect for the next legal team looking for something to do. It goes, oh, some, right. Some, we can't do that. That one's been some nice, strong precedent. Yeah, just because right. Sony, yeah, Sony learned that the hard way a few years back, and now Take Two seems to have forgotten about it. So I want the yeah well, well, EFF or well, any ad, of those ad, ad, advocacy groups. Just advocacy groups. Remind ad, <laughs> advocacy. <Varu> fuckers. <laughs> so uh, just remind Take Two. <laughs> speaking, speaking of thieving. None. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Streamlabs, you may have heard of them. They, uh, yeah, they're it, a service it, that it, we, we, we use them. It, it's the OBS, moment. right? Yeah, yeah totally. It's <laughs> yeah. So, the, okay. So twi- Twitter has definitely picked up on this. Uh, the lo- long story short, um, Streamlabs has a desktop version. Uh, stream, well, hey, Streamlabs is a service that enhances live streams and that creates like uh, overlays and alerts and stuff like that, uh, manages donations, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you can integrate it into your Twitch stream, hooks into your Twitch account. Um, and Streamla- stream- so Streamlabs um, had their product that uh, sat on top of OBS um, mm-hmm. to integrate with a bunch of their features. Um, and they were calling it Streamlabs OBS, because, you know, that makes sense, right? We're the Streamlabs OBS. The problem was there was a bit of a conflation because people thought, oh, this must be the actual version of OBS, which well, that, is not the case. That, you would have to demonstrate behavior or they would just kind of try to confuse people. But, oh, right. Yeah. Oh, stream. oh, oh. Oh yeah, Lightstream. They uh, they uh, copy pasted all of the advertising copy from one of their uh, console streaming overlay services. Uh, said, "Oops, that was a mistake. We didn't mean to push that actually live. Mm-hmm. Although we just changed the names of the to reviewers." Be internal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So lo- lo- lots of drama sur- surrounding uh, Streamlabs. Uh, they're not in violation of the OGL. They did file for trademark. Uh, there's some no-no happening, but the community backlash was pretty substantial. You got big streamers like Pokimane coming out and saying like, yo, you got to quit this shit or I'm going to go take my money elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, faced with, the, faced with that backlash, they have taken the bold, brave step of renaming Slobs to Streamlabs Desktop. Ah, so brave. So, so brave. brave. Oh, it's the Facebook approach. Yeah, the Facebook name, it's uh, tied to a lot of shit recently so we're just going to call ourselves something else now you know Good what job. change it to streambook <laughs> Ch- change, change, change it to it facebook to... apparently no, that's no, no, open no, no, no. face stream Ch- Ch- change it to smeta smeta uh, they're just being a, <laughs> i mean this i didn't know like to what extent they were a bunch of slobs but this has just been like how business has been conducted with the company this was just once it blew up it even got the obs team come back and be going yeah we try not to do the internet drama thing but yeah these ass banjos have been paying like trying to trademark obs like really like, but yeah. come on guys because you know it's we, open source yeah, yeah i mean we put a body kit on top of your work and kind of made it questionably <laughs> less functional uh 
Oh. <laughs> and then we stole someone else's software and made it ours. Yeah, yeah well, no, who, they, they didn't even steal on? the software. They just stole their website. Elgato, <laughs> Elgato came in because they were like, oh, you too? Uh, or like, you know, it was like, oh, it just happened eventually because apparently they had a, they did some streaming software for mobile and the slobs people called it Stream Deck. Mm. <laughs> really? <laughs> So this oh, is going to be fun to watch this rollback because this is just how they've done business. This is the first time that the light has uh, been dinosaur on turned over to the fucking roach and like <gasps> because this usually never ends well because eventually you know I'm sure the next response will be like we're being victimized or some shit like that. Oh yeah, well and and you and you know of course like if they're doing this kind of shady shit, the entire company is built on this precarious house. Hundred percent, hundred percent, allegedly, uh, allegedly, <laughs> but. <laughs> Yeah, man, I, I this this was just like one of those weird things I didn't expect. Uh, but moral of the story, I mean, this is not something we have to worry about on Linux because slobs is not a thing. However, the only if, thing you could use was the overlays yeah. on the website, no, yeah. or, or you you could use Suze Linux OBS slobs part two. Oh, hmm. oh yeah, the open build studio. Yeah, <laughs> the um. Okay, check this out now. I, I'm glad this came to light and I'm glad something's being done about it because I was shocked reading through, you know, on the Twitter threads and all the other places and all the Reddits, how many people legitimately confused OBS with uh, Streamlabs OBS. I, I mean, like if you're, if you're a lay person, absolutely. You're yeah. like, Streamlabs like I, OBS, I never think OBS. about that. I'm too deep in the fucking OBS sphere to, it would never cross, but it, yeah, I see it now that, you know, and step back with it. That causes genuine confusion. Hmm. And if they're applying for a trademark, why hasn't it been automatically denied? <laughs> so that, that, now, now OBS team, you better secure your fucking trademarks, man. If you are vulnerable to this stuff, perhaps you should start seeking funding to make it so that you are not vulnerable to this sort of shenaniganery. I would have it done. <laughs> you got to think there's some poor bastard at Logitech that got, an email at three o'clock in the morning going, who the fuck knew about this? Yeah. What, what did you do, Jim? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> because if you don't know last year, Logitech bought Streamlabs OBS. Mm, he's like, fuck <laughs> that had to go down. So I, I, I don't know, man, just whatever. Just if they disappear, the world might be a better place. Allegedly. Ha. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're we're we're, we're going to create our own fort called Lobs Linux OBS. Coming up next, we ever tried so hard, got so far, and in the end, it didn't even matter. Chair acquisition time. Welcome back to the chair acquisition, where we take a video game, run it on a bunch of different Linuxes with some varying hardware, and tell you what we think of it. Rated on a scale from one to four lawn chairs. This week, we're taking a look at Ever Tried by Lunic Games, a.k.a. Danilo Dominguez. Uh, done on the Unity engine, you can pick it up for about 20 bucks US. What is Ever Tried is an isometric tactical roguelike where the player ascends a mysterious tower in the afterlife. Using their wits, strategy, and positioning in turn-based combat, make clever use of attacks, movement, skills, and hazards to clear floors of enemies and advance higher towards your destiny. So we're going to thank uh, Danilo for sending us some keys via Curator Connect. Uh, so I guess let's get into it. How's it run on Debian, Ven? All right. We got to do this in three minutes or less or wrap up and prepare. Uh, how does it run on Debian 11? Out of the box, no problems. Over here with the 2060 with those evil, nasty, proprietary drivers. But it gets the job done. 1920X thread booping. About that full screen, though. This is really the first experience you have with the game because it just kind of disappears and goes blank. Like, huh. All right. Put it back in window. Hey, I'm back. Oh, okay. That was a glitch. Let's go back to full. And we're back to nothing. Hmm. Okay. And also there's some type of video that plays like right at the beginning of the game. Uh, I'm guessing it's supposed to play because it doesn't. And uh, there's some noise. Now you're clearly dealing with something that hasn't been tested. And I say this because um, we got three it hasn't systems been here. Tested. Hasn't been tested. <laughs> We're doing the testing on it on three different Linux distributions, and uh, it does the same thing. It does the same thing. You're going to have to play this in Proton if you want to play it in full screen. Now, if you're not going to bother doing that, you might at least do us a favor. Give us some reach around and make the game saves cross-platform, because they're not. I had to start right back at the beginning and go through the tutorial a second time. Performance-wise, though, even running it with Proton for myself, because I wanted to play it in full screen. I've seen about 800 plus at 1080p. No coil wide. 
good about that. Now, fun, fun wise, you boop around, you slice up enemies. That's about it. You know, unless there's like a cannon on the map, then you just juggle around and wait to them to kill themselves. Kind of not kidding. And, and that's really it. Now, after a few levels, you will encounter a store where you always only buy health or you'll get killed to death. At least me, because I suck at these games. Uh, that was my strat since uh, Hollow Moth. You can take, like, what, three hits? Is that it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. More, more or less. Then, then you're just nice and dead. Um, at the end of the day, basically, you, I mean, this is a nice, simple puzzle game. Uh, I really like the art. The art's very well done. Uh, no complaints there. I say, like, okay, this is pretty good looking. But, uh, the soundtrack, it's serviceable. It's a thing. It's there. And uh, the problem is, the problem is there's some bugs in the game. I went to the forums reading and yeah, some other people have run into issues with the game as well, even on Windows. But I think the biggest bug is this is priced $5 higher than Into the Breach. So that's something you might want to think about, like pricing something accordingly. I mean, it's beautiful. Looks nice. The game, like the whole mechanic of it, I mean, it's been done before, it'll be done again, but yeah. I'm just going to say not working full screen on three systems is a no-go in the Steam After Deck era. Um, going to have to avoid this one until that nonsense gets sorted out. On Fedora 35, 64-bit with the R9 3900X and the GTX 1080Ti. Yeah, that uh, that full screen in-game is borked. Uh, the menus are fine, but the, uh, the full screen is borked. Also, what the actual fuck is going on with the control settings? The PS4 <laughs> settings jack up all the prompts. Pedro will go into that in depth. But it is uh, it is a little screwy. I ended up just playing with the keyboard arrow keys. And you know what? Keyboard-based isometric grid music is... Bleh. It's going for the Hollow Knight-esque cutesy aesthetic, even down to the masks. It's still less plagiarizing than slobs. I do like the the sort of Game Boy Advance style uh, graphics. It reminds me a lot of Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, a game that is near and dear to my heart. So it gets some points for that. Um, but yeah, given, given the control issues and the, the graphical stuff, this is why you don't just click export. So, uh, fun wise, the time tested combat system of jam your ass into your enemy until they run out of HP. Those were the days when you were playing games on a terminal and didn't have GUIs. Um, this reminds me a lot more of Warlock of Firetop Mountain than Into the Breach, mainly because like. You have uh, you have predictive perfect information on the hazards, but not on the enemies. So um, there's a there's a lot of like having to debate them to get into them into the right position, or like Ben said, you flail around in a corner until the trap actually kills the rest of the enemies. Um, yeah, you end up spinning your wheels quite a bit with that, so that you do. And the, the, there's the. Um, the game wants you to build up combo. There's a combo meter where you will do more damage and get more experience as you do more stuff faster, but that's the fastest way to get yourself killed to death. So the game is a little disjointed. It's a bit inconsistent. Uh, there are some upgrades you can get. You can make uh, them stronger in between runs by using them more. That's nah, okay. I got vast. The, the only worth roll one I found was lifestyle steal because there is no health. You get like the one fucking store. And then after the boss, you're like, well, whatever health left you had, enjoy it. Fuckos. Speaking of which I got past the first boss, little bit of a neat puzzle. It was neat, but, uh, at that point, the game didn't really grab me. And with the technical issues and the odd controls, I can't really recommend this game. I'm going to give it one share. Speaking of the first boss, there it is. If you're watching the video version, that is. But over Smack here the on the, on the uh, Ryzen 7 3700X with the GTX 1080 on KD Neon, it launched out of the box, but like Van and Jordan already mentioned, starting the game proper gave me a black screen. Changing from full screen to window, we worked around that. Then the FURPS, well, you could look at the video version as well. It's, um, they're uncapped. They're completely uncapped. You're looking at about 900-ish FURPS in-game proper, unless you use Lip Strangle to keep those down at whatever you want. Uh, it's Coil Wine City if you're running with the, um... Frames uncapped over here with the that GTX 1080. It's Coil Wine City all over the place. The controller Man, mappings are uh, <laughs> the controller mappings are completely fucked though. Uh, by default, uh, in the PC slash Xbox mode, left and right on the D-pad are up and down. I'm not joking. Up and down don't actually work. If you change it to PS4 mode, circle becomes accept and square becomes 
go back. So it's like the cross becomes circle and the circle becomes square. What? <laughs> Uh, but at least at that point, all four directions on the D-pad work, uh, except that up and down are reversed. Left and right are okay, those actually work as intended, but up and down, uh, up is down, and down is up. It also completely ignores Steam input on both the beta and non-beta Steam clients, because at this point, I didn't actually trust Steam that that was working properly, so I had to go back and forth between the two to make sure. So that's impressive! Game, that that's really impressive. It's like everywhere you look, something is busted. As for the fun, well, yes, the comparison with Into the Breach was fairly inevitable, but this is even more simplified than Into the Breach. Uh, and as much as I praise simplifying mechanics and disabling them, uh, or, you know, distilling uh, them down to what makes them interesting, I do think you can go too far. And I think Ever Tried might have gone a little bit too far in that direction. There's uh, also the fact that this is a turn-based roguelike with a real-time uh, nanny bar which deals you damage if you let it run all the way down uh, and you exhaust all of your bars, so that's bad. Um, so even in its simplicity, it seems rather schizophrenic with its own mechanics outright fighting each other. It looks good, the mechanics are simple, and it's very easy to understand what's going on, but when taken as a whole, it doesn't work as well as it should, which may also be related to the technical shit show I mentioned earlier. So, uh, I kind of have to go with the flow on this one and say, no, one chair. <laughs> Alright, well that wraps it up. Do you think um, it's fair? Here, Here's the pro tip. Now, you'll notice that the there's a demo. So go try it for yourself, but there's not a Linux version of the demo, which is probably for the best because you're not going to really be able to play it with Linux. You're going to be using Proton anyway, which is, uh, yeah, test, test your That's, shit, kids. To be fair, the video, the, if you're looking at the video version, that video was recorded with the native Linux version in a 1080p window, <laughs> window because that's the only yeah. way you can see the game. You know what? <laughs> Ironically, very streamer friendly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I mean, I, I I didn't have a problem with that. I'm used to just like staring at the top left hand corner of my monitor and only that because that's what I stream from. Um, you yeah. Know, for I, me, I mean, I when I'm streaming, when I'm just in here playing a game on the rare occasion, which is usually the game where I want that shit full screen. Okay, I got 43 inches. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like for, for for me, I think the game just falls apart mechanistically. There's some cool ideas here, but I think it really just needs more refining. Yeah, see, I can't um, really comment on that so much because these types of games, uh, that is you two definitely know more. But I get a participation draw. I show up at like uh, hour yeah, ten. It, it, I'm it, like, I tried, you guys. Look, I. Did. That, I mean, that's that's me in racing games, right? I get yeah. it. It's yeah. I, I went through the motions. I didn't like rage quit or anything. I'm like, oh well. I, mean, I, I, I raged quit because the controls were so bad, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, it, I it's, the controls are freaking weird, man. <laughs> what well, did it, you no, do? It, it, what did it, you do? <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's isometric grid controls, right? Like, I, I don't, I don't know. They, the way they have, if you could click on it, I feel it would be better if it was like a point and click. How about, I feel maybe what if you could, could rotate the playing field a couple of degrees to line it up? Yeah, it's like, uh, instead of being that, like a, at a 45 degree angle, make it like 60 so it was clearer which way is at, up. No, <laughs> I have an aesthetic that I'm going for and I like isometric <laughs> stuff. Uh, all right, by the help. All right, all right, coming up next, it's time to downvote us. Go to reddit.com slash Linux underscore gaming and downvote anything that says Linux Gamecast in it. It's the end. Congratulations! You've made it to where most people don't. Unless you uh, left us a comment and you're very much looking forward to uh, having us address it, which you can do. Listen, Pedro, I'll have you know I watched do. the video with the sound off, so it doesn't matter what you're saying right now. Haha. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, that just means you're watching you, it on Linux, right? <laughs> no, if, if you, I, I wonder, I wonder if you exclusively relied on YouTube auto-generated subtitles, what could you take away from an episode of Linux Gamecast? Uh, what could you take away from an episode of Linux Gamecast? Ghost. What could you take away? Uh, I'm fucking with you now. <laughs> it just stopped. It, it did yeah, because it, it, of the ghosts. The yeah. game was up. It was like, oh, damn it. Oh, fuck. I was trying to read there it. An, if uh, your particular room of residence is haunted, you can absolutely let us know about it. Go to LinuxGameCast.com, hit the contact button, pick LGC Weekly as the show that you'd like to send your hate mail to, and it will be featured right now. Um, 
there's some caveats <laughs> if you're a game developer and you'd like us to have a look at your game. Just read the little bits at the top of the page. They're kind of relevant to you specifically. You know, I had a case of the crypto dick. I went to my doctor. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. They said it was terminal. <laughs> I don't know. I, I was kind of hoping you would exp- expand on that because I was wondering how the blockchain would die. Pa, I got the crypto dick. <laughs> <laughs> there, 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 there is a blockchain in my urethra that is causing some problems right now. Don't worry, I have a cream for it. <laughs> oh no, it's delicious. <laughs> so we ah. talked about last week. Um, YouTube did a thing because YouTube's gonna do shit. Google, we should say Alphabet did a thing. Use gonna tube. And according to the internet, they made YouTube completely unusable, one hundred percent. Just go ahead and torch it experiments over we're done with it what i'm talking about is they are rolling out disabling not the down boat button but the numerical count that is under it and i think the three of us we just talked listen nobody here's jerking off youtube like do you even like notice that because i was genuinely curious if uh sandy or um jordan like do you weigh into that your decision on whether or not to watch the video to me i i guess those metrics are there i Typically, don't pay attention to it, uh, Pedro. What are your thoughts on the like? Do you use that, or did you? I should uh, say, <laughs> not really. Uh, I much you like me more of last a, week. Uh, you, yes, you strike me more of a YouTube comments user than a downvote user. I I have been known for uh, starting discussions on the YouTube comments. Yes, mostly to my own amusement. Uh, but no, much like Jordan last week, um, I use the down buttons like oh youtube gave me a suggestion that is not something that i do like Mm -hmm. so it's like hit that down vote button and then that won't show up as a suggestion again yeah that that that's what i use it for but i know that there are some people who go around brigading videos and mass down voting them i i think that's the excuse that uh alphabet youtube specifically is uh, car using 86 (laughs) They say, uh, and th- their take on this is, let's say someone uploads a video with misinformation about Linux or a video promoting some kind of scam. Don't you think it would be valuable for users to be able to see the likes to dislikes ratio then? Let's say that a user gets 8K likes and next to the like button is just a dislike button and no number. The average user will think that everyone likes the video and that there's something wrong with them if they didn't like the content. This is obviously user manipulation and it shouldn't be allowed to happen, dot, dot, dot. I don't think that's what they're doing. <laughs> I think they're yeah, getting rid of uh, that bar entirely. Uh, <laughs> well, that that and like d- upvote to downvote ratio doesn't actually fucking mean anything. It means that there that the the content is contested in some way. That's why there's a sh- sort by controversial on Reddit so that you can see what both are like. Um, I don't I don't know. Ben, you have a well thought out response to this. How that I didn't prepare. How dare you? <laughs> the fuck, man. Got to cut me at the end of the episode like that. Yeah, I like to watch you bleed, bitch. So yeah, this this is kind of comes out with you know let uh, hypothetical, which is like, what's think of the children, and you know here's my thing: the, the problem with using the up and down, and I'm just saying from my personal experience, I just don't even filter that. I noticed that this afternoon when I was because I, I had to do a quick Google search on DaVinci Resolve. I'm like, how do I do the motion tracking with the blur again? I make a lot of videos and my sorting algorithm, no one cares about because when I want a YouTube video, I want it to be shortened to the fucking point. I don't need 18 minutes for like two minutes of information. Unfortunately, nobody really boats on that. And they're like, Hey, dude, did you say, Hey fam enough or some shit like that? Now the average user who's going to give that an upvote is also the same average user that will give it a down vote. So if that's what you're relying on. It's not a good for me way of judging the, quality or content in this case content of a video now the whole point of this let's just not kid ourselves the whole point of this is to get people to trick people however you want to phrase it more people watching more videos because more money that's it that there's no we do not need red yarn or conspiracy theories to just say what this is and youtube should have just said, fuck it. This is how we're going to roll. We're going to get people to watch videos longer, period. 
You know, they're definitely going after the people who would look at the downvote arrow. 100%. 100%. They want people watching. They don't care if it's good. The algorithm doesn't care if it's bad. They just want you to keep watching so they can make those ads happen, baby. Because that's why. Or those YouTube red cells. Yeah. Yep. That's so that you don't have to watch. Why YouTube exists to sell ads. It's not a community service. It's not a project to help out humanity. It's there to sell ads. That's it. I look at YouTube. Now, how many times have I gotten shit over the years? You need to step up that YouTube game. Then you do. You need to do more of this and more of that and more fans and all that other bullshit. I'm like, no. I mean, I will acknowledge that we have a YouTube channel. And I have nothing against YouTube because I view YouTube as a content delivery network that cuts us a check for like $15 at the end of the month. Okay, I don't mind that ratio. And if you want to watch it, there, you can watch it on library or whatnot. But it seems, gentlemen, that we have a new generation coming to grips with that YouTube is an advertising platform. It's not your friend. It's not there to help you yeah. out. It YouTube doesn't was not you. your friend. It really yeah, isn't. and it was like <laughs> user manip. Okay, and th- there's the point at the end of user manipulation shouldn't be allowed to happen. Yeah. Welcome to social media. The entire thing is user manipulation right. uh, from, from, from Genesis. If you're not a fan of having people try to fuck with knobs in your brain, you should maybe, I don't know, live in the woods. Yeah, don't use social media at all at that point. Uh, no Twitters, no Facebooks, no nothing. Can't yeah. use the internet. Just go away. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you got to use a real net and like cast it and catch fish and like live in the woods. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, it boils down to like, if that was like your way of using YouTube, that sucks. I'm sorry, man. I mean, I didn't have anything to do with it. Um, Reddit still exists. Yeah. If you got off on the uh, up and down votes, well, there is another website that still has visible up and down votes and it will help you get off. (laughs) Yes. Vote. (laughs) That was a shot in the dark, but I think I had something. Pornhub is very much it has uh, okay. you know uh, up por- votes por- and down votes and you can see por- the count. Por- por- Pornhub has so. some somewhere. <laughs> where, where is this? I don't know. It has multiple thumbs. Okay, in all, right. all the places you might like <laughs> or not. See, we're answering the real questions this evening on Linux Team. <laughs> so yeah, where does Pornhub stick their thumbs? Send your hate um, mail. I, I try to look at it like this. I mean, if there was something they changed in YouTube that I relied on that. YouTube went, poof, I'd be pissed off, but I'd also immediately go, well, that's fucking YouTube. I mean, live, how, live streams. How many? Remember. Oh, geez. Okay. Yeah. We bitched for a solid year about that and it's still not good. Not at all. Yeah. When they fucked up the <laughs> creator studio, that's still this amalgam of nonsense that we have to deal with every time we go. Notice how we went to Twitch. I mean, you gotta, yeah, you gotta do your things, man. You gotta do your things. No corn hub, bad corn hub. All right. (laughs) No corn hub. (laughs) Hot, steamy butter. No. (laughs) On that corn hub. I fuck. I don't know where to go with that. Um, I bring you corn. Corn. This will never work. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get a hold of me, I'm just at Vince Stone on Twitter. That's also technically our official Twitter page because we didn't expect anyone to ever watch this. But. If you want to do the Mastodon thing, we have that. Thank you, Sipic, at mast.linuxgamecast.com. I am also reasonably active on that as well. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. You can scream at me in Discord. Send me an email. I'll be around. Hi, I'm Jordan Korn. You Hi. can find me at The Burning Fool on Twitter or twitch.tv slash Burning Fool to hear my hot corn takes. What am I? What am I? Fucking is Swift I- on security? No. <laughs> and I am Pedro Mateus. You can find me on Twitter uh, struggling with my webcam because I'm wearing a dark blue shirt and it kept trying to make it uh, black, so it kept fucking with the white balance. That's why I look green tonight. Thanks. Um, try web, I try webcorn. How do you use your <laughs> webcam on Twitter? I'm curious. <laughs> I was kind of streaming to that. <laughs> 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 but yes, you can find me doing other things on camera. Not really. Uh, on uh, Twitter at Unaccounted4. Uh, if you would like to also suggest uh, other things that I could do on camera. Maybe not for Pornhub, but, y- you know, a more uh, family-friendly website. Or Pornhub. Sure, why not? <laughs> All right, beautiful people. There's probably a kernel of truth in that. We got to roll the credits. 
Oh man. <laughs> Seven secret herbs and spices combine. Mices. I don't know. I misread it. Sp- it's full of rice. Mices. <laughs> Seven secret herbs and lices, man. Yeah, we gotta we gotta thank our advisors, Omegas. It's better than Arthur the original and- when we use dices. People are always chipping teeth. <laughs> I, mean, I got way too many dice. Our executive producers, Aldi, Aspar, Brebs, Scott Michaud, Michael Fox Dog, Atomic Ass, Michael G, Michael T, Drummer, and Kohaku. Chicago kicks ass, bringing it in with Darkwing and Abstraction. The Sea Monsters, Jack B, Renault, Rider X, Machina, Trudgy, Veritanuda, Justin, Frostclaw, and Strider. Ooh-hoo-hoo. Death Notes, Nova K, Basil, Dak, Kim, Smashley, Mark, and Chris. No, come back, Steve, and John, and Benjamin. Smashley. Doom 2, what? <laughs> Steve, uh, Dodger. Yes. Ah. Dirty Dean, back. Game of Tron and Zeno. Dodger. Pebble, Oil of Hope, Jim, Monica, Alex. Oh, man, look at these fuckos. Look at them. <laughs> Vascat, Nubbin. Douglas, you know uh, the scan line effect <laughs> on Frank shows up better on Incredible some John Eshop and Game of Thrones. Better on some monitors than the others. It looks really good mm. in the. Is, is, is it RTX powered? Nah, dude. Tensor wiggles. Ah, <laughs> you need tensor tracing. cores to actually get the seven twenty i baby. Seven twenty i. We'll see you next week, beautiful people. Bye, Dying bye. Fire. bye. <laughs> Five dudes.